What is going on YouTube? So I'm at the gym right now and today I'm gonna to be doing just an arm day. I'm gonna be doing biceps and triceps alternating exercises. Alternating exercises has just been better to train and it's more fun because you're just hitting biceps and triceps. Your arms feel absolutely amazing because your full arm is pumped rather than just one muscle group at a time. It is actually pretty cold outside right now. It's probably been the coldest day in a month or two and it's just really nice because if you know me, you know that I think winter is the best season. Obviously it is because it's the best time to go to the gym. Cold is just so much better, wearing hoodies all the time, wearing sweatpants all the time, and it's just absolutely amazing and cinematic. And I am actually tomorrow starting my new program and I'm switching up my diet just a little bit. I'm not changing every meal, but changing a few. And I'm gonna be upping the calories a little bit and the protein quite a bit just so I can gain the most muscle possible. I'm gonna to continue to train as hard as I can and always I want to be as good as I can in the gym. I always do everything I can throughout the day to make sure that my workouts are as good as possible. Make sure that I have a good breakfast, high in protein, and then drink water throughout the day. Eat all my meals, make sure I have enough sodium and protein and carbs in my body to fuel my workouts and then when I'm at the gym, I take pre-workout and some people think that pre-workout is just you get stimmed out and then you act crazy, but that's definitely not how it is. Pre-workout can help you stay focused in the gym, help you have enough energy to last throughout the whole workout. And personally, my body uses caffeine mainly to help my brain focus more. I also include some focus ingredients to help me just be absolutely dialed in when I'm lifting because I don't want to be focusing on other things while I'm trying to get the best lift possible. When you are focused in the gym, you you just feel great. You feel absolutely dialed all the time. You feel like you're just, you're in that mental state that you just want to get as big as possible. You want to get the best pump and it feels good because if you enjoy lifting that much and you're just focused when you're in the gym, you're making sure that you're getting the best contractions, the best mind-muscle connection, you're going to see a lot of progress because you have to enjoy what you are doing. You have to love it. You have to have the passion to go to the gym, have the discipline to be able to see enough progress. And that's when you start to enjoy it a lot. When you start seeing progress, the grind becomes an addiction because you just, you just want to get better. You want to improve every single day. And that's really important to do when you're in the gym. Once I switch to doing arms every couple of days, but lowering the volume, my arms have actually been growing a lot. The first, I would say six months of my bulk, I didn't really see a ton of arm growth just because I was doing a ton of exercises, stuff that wasn't needed and overtraining. So I think that definitely doing lower volume, I only do one to two tricep exercises per arm day and my arms have been growing a lot, especially my triceps. Because my biceps have been a strong point in my physique, I haven't hit them as hard as triceps, but I've been doing enough to see them grow as well. And this new program that I'm going to be switching to is focused on arms and chest and basically focused on every muscle group, but arms is every couple of days. So my arms are going to be growing a lot and I want to have big arms as well as big muscle groups, big chest, big back and everything. I'm hoping that this program will allow me to grow my arms significantly and I just want to get as big as possible. So I am about to go hit this arm day and I'll see you guys in the gym. I just want you. I just want you. The words I need.
Realistically, any curl variation can be good to help you grow your biceps. Personally, I like doing any form of just regular curls and I usually do them seated just to get more isolation on my bicep and it's definitely helped me grow my arms that way. Chasing starlight to find a start away. Breathe it in. It's just now. We're just falling, and we won't always straight forward back to nothing. 'Cause I'm just starting to. So I just finished up that workout and it was a decent workout but not the best. I'm just excited to get into this new program and this new diet. My arms have been growing a lot from this previous program and I've been focusing on getting a good stretch on my triceps. That's what you should focus on when doing a movement rather than swinging your body, just stretching the tricep all the way to the top and then getting a good contraction at the bottom. You don't need to do a ton of volume with your arms. I always hear people saying you need to hit arms every few days with insane volume. You need to hit arms so much to grow, but that's not true at all. Doing a lower volume definitely is just as beneficial, if not better, because you're not overtraining and you can train every couple of days with doing lower volume and your arms will see significant growth. growth. Alright, so that is going to be the end of the video and that was not the best lift but my arms are going to grow and I've been growing my arms and all my muscle groups. I've been eating enough protein and just getting the best results possible and I'm going to continue to do that through this winter. Get as big as possible, put on as much muscle and mass as possible. That is the goal. I'm going to be posting more YouTube videos and Obviously, they're better in the winter. It's going to be colder. It's going to be darker and it's going to be absolutely amazing I can't wait for this winter bulk and I have been bulking for a year, but I continue this bulk and Continue to gain muscle. Thank you if you watched all the way to the end of the video because it really helps me out a lot and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching